Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be talking about the Rich Loves Full Favourites Beauty Box, which is in collaboration with Top Box. I was so excited when I found out that this was even a thing. Like, apparently she's done them before and I didn't know and I got very annoyed with myself. But if you guys don't know already, Rachel Loves is one of my favourite all-time YouTubers. She's like my beauty guru. I feel like we're just on the same wavelength with beauty products. And yeah, I love her. I always feel really good after watching her videos. Her personality is infectious. Her energy is like right up there. And she's, I just love the way that she reviews products and how she talks about them. And she's always very, very honest. She's just amazing. If you haven't like seen her channel before, I will link it below. I'll also put it in like the cards up here. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Um, she is based in Canada. So a lot of the products that she does review sometimes, I'm like, damn it, I can't get it here. So when I heard she was bringing out like a beauty box or had been brought them up before and was bringing out another one, um, I was kind of like, please do it in the UK, please do it in the UK because you know there's going to be some of her like favourite US products in here, um, or Canadian products, ones that you can get over the pond basically. Um, so yeah, I found out they did ship to the UK which I got very, very excited about and then I was like, hmm, how much are you going to charge me for this? And actually the box itself was only £22, which considering you get three full size products and two smaller size like higher end products, I think is a really, really good price. Um, the shipping was also only like £5, which I thought it was going to be more. So I'm quite pleased with that because I pay for shipping for stuff within the UK for £5 sometimes. So, you know, I don't really mind so much. The only thing I would say is when it did come through, I did then have to pay an extra customs charge of around about £12, which I wasn't expecting. To be honest, it was probably in the small print that you might have to pay a customs charge, and I just didn't read it. So that might be my own fault that I wasn't expecting it, but it's just something to keep in mind for like, the next one she brings out if you're interested. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about the products in here today. Full disclaimer, I actually filmed a first impressions of this uh, the day after I got it. And turned out my camera was not filming. So, you know, it's kind of hard to refilm a first impressions because you've already had your first impression, if you get me. So, what I thought today instead, I would just show myself putting the products onto my face and just kind of talk you through how I found them, uh, what I think about them so far. I've had this for four or five days now, I want to say. I think I got it on Monday, it's now Thursday, yeah. So, um, it's still very much like in the early stages, but a lot of these products, because they're makeup products, is quite easy to kind of see um, how I feel about them very quickly. But yeah, we're going to talk about them, uh, the products themselves, like what I think about this whole thing in general, price-wise and stuff. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get started. Cool. So one of the first things that she had in there is actually a mini face mask. And as you can see, it's a charcoal mask that I have in fact used. It's the Glam Glow um, Super Mad Clearing Lip Treatment. You can pick between two. I chose this one because when I ordered this, for some reason, my spots were flaring up really badly, especially around my chin, which I know is a hormonal thing, but they were also coming up on my forehead, and I think it was because of a product, a beauty product that I was using at the time. Um, so yeah, I picked this up, I've tried it out, and I have to say, first of all, it's quite scary, because it is a charcoal mask, obviously, it goes on black and dries down, and when it dried down, it showed your pores. And oh my god, the pores on my nose are huge. I was looking in the mirror like, no, 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 no. My, I've never considered myself someone with like large pores or anything like that. But I saw that and I was like, okay, I need to close those bad boys up. So, you know, that was enlightening. Um, but in terms of the mask itself, I'm actually really impressed with this. So usually with charcoal masks, they are very, they can be very messy. And as you can see from the little um, tube, I did get some on the tube. Um, but actually this was quite easy to apply, it wasn't too messy, it washed off my hands very easily which is good. Ones I've used before I'm there for like a good 20 minutes trying to get it off my hands by that point and then I have to take it off my face and then I can't get it off my face and you know, all of that fun stuff. But it was really easy to take off afterwards, it was quite comfortable to wear, it did feel, where it dried it was kind of hard to talk and move your face um, afterwards but I think it's just the kind of mask that it is. Um, when I took it all off I did notice a bit of a difference with my face, it was a lot kind of Glowier, which I know isn't what it's supposed to do, but I just felt like it was a lot brighter. And then um, I actually used this last night and this morning when I woke up, my skin felt different. When I was touching it, I was like, this feels really smooth. It feels very, it just felt different. It didn't feel like it's normal self, which was a bit weird, but it looked very, very clear in the mirror and spots that I kind of had kind of, I had one coming off my forehead here, that's gone. So I was like, 
Okay, I can get down with this little thing. So I'm going to take a look and see how much it actually is because I have a feeling it's a higher price product, which is why, so I've got a hair like on my nose, which is why you would get like a smaller version, but I'm thoroughly impressed with this so far. And I think there's still a good like three or four uses in here. So I'm excited to see what it does in the long term for my skin. So the second product we have, which is a bloody big product, it's the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. It's so definitely more of a budget product, and I think you can get this here in the UK. But to us, it wouldn't have been something I would have like thought to pick up. Um, but in here, you get eight blush shades. They're all a pretty good size. I mean, there are some shades in here that I would never use. For example, this like orangey shade is like super, super orangey. Um, it's like like no that's not going on my face but in terms of like application and colors this is they're very buttery soft they're very smooth to apply they blend beautifully they're really really nice you don't have to be have like a light hand or a heavy hand with it you could just have a normal hand and you don't go over the top um, and the colors I really like as well you do have a, a very big mix of like cool and warm tones in here so I think for a, a product that you're going to put in a beauty box it was a really really good choice because I think it's, there's going to be something for everybody in here personally for me there's probably only maybe like one or two colors I would use um, so there's this sort of top um, cool toned pink here which I've used probably the most out of this palette so far and I really really like that color and um, I've been mixing it with this darker kind of cool toned um, nudey shade as well just to kind of tone down the pink a little bit on days where I don't want to be too blushed and I want to look a little bit more natural um, and then just this kind of cool toned pinky shimmer shade which I think is definitely more of a highlight but at the same time I feel like it's too pigmented to be I'm gonna drop it a highlight by itself um, but either way like I think this palette is a very very nice palette the product in here is really really nice I'm really liking the quality they last really well as well like I found that at the end of the day when I come to take my makeup off it's still on there so it's lasting as well as like my hourglass ambient lighting blush which I like so I think that's a really good product to have in the box and again I think there's going to be a shade in here for everybody because there's such a mix um, so yeah I like that the next product is probably the one I was most excited about because it's from Wet n Wild and I don't think we can get it very easily here. I, I know we can get it from Amazon. I've looked on Amazon because I want to try more of these now. Um, but I don't think otherwise it's that easy to get. But it is that Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and it's in the shade Precious Petals. Now if you do already watch Rachel Loves, you know she loves them. These highlighting powders and to be honest like any Canadian or US YouTuber I've watched whenever they've, they've mentioned these or they've mentioned drugstore highlights, these are like top of their list. And you may, I, I get it, like it's such a pretty, pretty shade. It's just beautiful. And I mean, the highlight on it is just stunning. Every day I've worn this since, I keep catching myself in the mirror like, oh, hi cheekbones. Oh yeah, there you are. Like, this probably isn't the best light to do it. But I'm always there like, oh yeah, I have cheekbones. We like cheekbones. We're happy with this. Um, it blends really, really nicely. I just take it along the tops of the cheekbones and it just looks stunning. It's a very neutral tone champagne colour. So again, I think it's a good shade to put in this box because it's going to suit everybody. So I take it over the tops of my cheekbones and blend that in. I also take it along the cupid's bow and just the point of my nose as well. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but for some reason I really like highlighting the top, the end of my nose. I don't know, it's just something I like to do. And then what I then did was spray um, a small kind of eyeshadow brush with some setting spray just to get it wet and then blended this into the inner corner of the eyes. It makes a beautiful inner corner highlight and then just kind of blended it along the lid to about halfway along where I had a bit of a darker colour going on. And it just makes a very, very nice shimmery neutral eyeshadow as well, which is how I know Rachel loves to use this particular colour um, because I think this is a little bit too pinky toned or dark for her, I think she said. Um, but either way, it makes a very beautiful eyeshadow as well. If you do get it wet, then it really does amp up that kind of glow. I would say it is a glittery highlight. So if you're not into glittery highlights, then you probably won't like this. But for me, I friggin' love it. I think it's amazing. And I want every single colour they possibly do. Okay, next on the list was another full-size product. And this is a more expensive product. So I think this is a great value for money. And I think they just, just kind of pulled the whole value for money piece of this entire box together and it is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I am a bit on the fence with this. I really, really like how it makes my lashes look. It really kind of lengthens them, it curls them, and it adds volume. It does everything that you want a mascara to do. However, because the formula is quite wet and the brush is quite large, I always, always, 
without fail so far when I've been using it, get it on my eyelid and it really bugs me. But I was exactly the same way with the L'Oreal Lash Sensation, oh no, L'Oreal, no that's Maybelline, with the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara because I'm used to working with a little bit of a dry formula. Um, so that took me a little bit of getting used to so I'll just have to do the same for this but I do really like how it looks on the lashes. Um, again, because it's quite a wet formula, I would not use this on the lower lashes. I did, I have done it today, and what I tried to do is get as much product off onto my top lashes as I can before I go onto the bottom lashes and just use the excess for that. Um, but overall, I think it's a nice mascara. Like it, it length, like I said, it lengthens, it volu volumizes, it does everything you kind of want it to do. It lasts really well all day. Um, when I am wearing liquid liner over it, it does appear over the top of there, which is always like a test for me. If I'm wearing my liquid liner and I can see the mascara over the top of the liner, then I'm like, yes, you've lengthened, I like you. Um, and it does do that. So overall, I think it is a nice mascara. I'm a fan. I think it's just going to take a little bit of getting used to because it is a very, very wet formula. And then last, but by no means least, and this is probably my favourite of everything. Hmm. They might be up there with the highlight. Those two together, I really like. These two together, I really like. And it's a very, very mini, like the size of my thumb mini, um, Tarte, Tartist lip paint. So this is one of their creamy matte lip paints, and it's in the shade FOMO. This is stunning. Like, the shade, I don't think I have anything like this colour in my lip collection. And I'm now wondering why, because I friggin' love it. I think this is such a lovely winter autumn colour if you still want to stay to your pinky shades and you don't quite want to go down like the berry red root. Um, and the formula of this is insane, like it just glides over the lips, it's so creamy and smooth, it's really really nice and for something that is a bit creamier, usually when I use um, like liquid lipsticks that are a bit creamier, they do appear to be a little bit streaky, especially if they're a darker tone like this, um, not streaky in the slightest, it goes on really smoothly, it's very even, I really like the applicator because it's got like a little dent so it just fits the lip really really nicely as well so it's very comfortable to apply, very easy to apply, um, it, it, I just love the colour, I love the finish, it's matte but it's not drying and it doesn't look really matte and powdered down, um, yeah, I just really really like it, I think it's very very nice and that's probably a bad thing because I now want to try more of these and they're from Tarte so you know they're not cheap. Oh I feel like this box has been bad for me because now I want everything and I'm going to spend more money. But yeah overall I really like this. So overall I did really like the Top Rachel Loves Top box. I feel like there has some really good products in here and there isn't anything that I don't like which is great. Usually when I've done beauty boxes before there's things that I've been like mm, don't really like that I wouldn't use that again like not fan not no no don't like it but with this there's I pretty much liked everything. There wasn't anything I didn't like. I think the mascara is going to take a little bit of getting used to, um, but overall I think it was good. I think it was great value for money. Um, I think the mascara on its own is something like £17, £18, pound, and this is five. Oh, this is not £5, pound. this is £22 pound with that deliver £5 pound delivery charge on top and the customer's charge. But still, even with all of that, it's really, really good value for money. I'm definitely going to look out for if she does any more of these. I think she does, so she did like a spring and a fall one. So... I'm not going to miss the spring one this year. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really, really great way to try some products from one of my favourite YouTubers. I really, really loved it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to give a very quick intro to what is about to happen on my channel and my blog. So from tomorrow it will be a vlogmas, which means that there are going to be two sit-down videos a week which are Christmas themed, and there's also going to be two vlogs a week. Again, Christmas themed because it's December and there's doing lots of I'm doing lots of stuff, Christmassy stuff and what have you. Um, so please make sure you subscribe. At the end of December, I am going to be doing a giveaway to all of my YouTube subscribers just to say thank you so much for the support. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification buttons if you want to know when something comes up as well. I'm really, really excited for Vlogmas. I feel like just planning for this and for my videos and what's got me in such a festive mood. So I'm so excited. Um, so yes. I'm very, very happy, and I hope you guys love it as well. Over on my blog, I'm going to be doing Blogmas, which is five blogs a week, Monday to Friday. Again, all Christmas themes. I will link my blog below for you if you want to check that out. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, because at the end of December, I will be doing a giveaway to all my subscribers. And I will see you all again tomorrow for my first Vlogmas video. Bye.